friends, denizens of the internet, hello and welcome back to another exciting episode of Control over here at Lost Time Gaming. I'm Debo and we are jumping back into the shoes of Jesse. Now, I wasn't 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure we're just heading towards the ordinary AWE area. I mean, again, just ignore the, uh... Did I listen to this last time? Just ignore the mission up in the top Annual left. evaluation of Dylan Faden, formerly P6, performed by Dr. Carl Vaughn. The questions asked here correspond to the fifth iteration of the Gunner's psychological assessment. Are you ready, Dylan? Let's begin then. In a single word, describe the world around you. Where's Casper? Dr. Darling is out of the building today. He's never out. He didn't want to come, did he? He never visits, not since Roberts. To tell Darling it wasn't my fault. I couldn't control it yet, but I can now. I learned. Will you tell him? In a single word, describe the world around you. A prison. A cold, empty prison. Not even a poster on the wall. Mm -hmm. What is the next number in the sequence 3, 6, 9, 12, 15? 18. What day is it today? How the hell would I know? It's not like you give me a calendar. You find a rabbit in the woods. It is breathing, but not moving. You cannot see any blood. What do you do? Leave it. Expand on that. It doesn't matter. The rabbit's not real. None of it's real. What day is it today? Do you enjoy asking people questions that can't be answered? Is, is this what gets you up in the morning? What you dreamed of doing as a scared, stupid little girl? Can you describe a dog to me? In Ordinary, we had a friend. Nosebleed Neil. And when it all went crazy, you know what I mean. Nosebleed Neil turned into a dog. Or something like a dog. What day is it tomorrow? Fuck off! I don't know! There is no calendar! How can I fucking know? Dylan, calm down. Fuck you! Fuck you and fuck Casper! Hey, hey! hey are you watching this, you old fuck? Did you send your bitch because you're too scared of me? Where is Casper? Security, get a team in here. I need. Well, okay then. Uh, seems like Dylan had some uh, things to say about several things, uh, pretty much. He had some words for them. Here we go. What we got Ordinary WE Stage 2 Sled Hill Cave Witness Testimonies. After what happened at school to Mrs. Chester, we started spying on Tom and saw the, where they took the projector. EF Interview 2002. Tom and his troglodytes were using the Sled Hill Cave as their headquarters. That's where the projector was. They had been using the Temple Slide. We called it that, but really it was a broken concrete thing. Like a warehouse or a bomb shelter or something. Very dark. The Knot Mother lived there with her babies? Children, I don't know. She was feeding Tom and the others with her milk. They were charging, they were changing into little monsters. We called them dung monkeys. JF Therapy Session 2010. Extrapolated information, unconfirmed existence of additional slide designation at Temple. Unconfirmed existence of paranatural entity designation not mother. Okay, yeah, neither of those things sounded good. Especially dung monkeys. What the heck is that? That's, uh... That's pretty strange. I don't like that none. All right. Anyway, pretty sure we're going this way, right? Because here's the map. Map. Oh yeah, we're going this way. This is the way to be going. I mean, it's not. There's likely to be all kinds of bad news bears down here, but there's there's more reading to be done. Stage one B dump. Hmm. The second slide we called the meadow, but it was really just an empty lot with a bunch of weeds. There was a shack and a phone line. It smelled like flowers there. It was powerful, intoxicating. We had crazy dreams there. It must have been because of the smell. I didn't like it. Didn't like losing control. In the dreams, everything was melting. And then, when we'd come out, everything had melted around the projector. JF, a therapy session, 2010. Neil was really into it. We found out he had been coming there more and more on his own. Then Tom beat the secret out of Neil and found the projector. He and his goons took it. We thought Neil had lost, got lost inside the meadow when Tom changed the slide, but that's not what happened. 
Unconfirmed existence of additional slide designation meadow. Okay. That's cool. So this uh, this projector was like really some really crazy stuff, basically. I see you hiding up here. Ordinary debris stage four B town proper. Witness testimonies. We went in and met Polaris like a star. She told us we were special. She made us special. Felt like being born or reborn. The world fading in for the first time. Familiar, but somehow different. Polaris told us how to turn off the projector. The dung monkeys and the not mother were coming straight at us. Dylan was crying. I turned it off and they were gone. It was over. I took all the slides and burned them. All of them except hand. Extrapolated information. Unconfirmed existence of a paranatural entity designation Polaris. That's the that's the fractal image that appears in my brain. Okay, well that's cool. Wait, so why did they? That's the real question. Why? Like, cause those are all interviews, like the JF and the interview log. That's got to be Jesse. So they interviewed the crap out of Jesse and then let her go, but kept Dylan. That doesn't make any sense. Oh no, I don't like it. Yeah, it's a little little tiny house. Oh, what? Our home, our school, the woods, the dump. Huh. That's like a model. That's pretty cool. Uh, can I just... Oh, I can. Huh. Anybody in here? Any hiss? I get the feeling they want me to go to that red building. What's the slam? It's, it's, it's C. The slam is C. Okay. Just had to double check. I made a big smoke pile now. Why does this one stick out though? Why is this one red? Stage three. Oh, is this like the, the sphere of influence? Yeah, stage four. So it's got to be at the heart then, right? Well, it makes sense. Stage one. Yep, this is uh. This is where it started, I guess. Apparently, I kind of assumed something was gonna happen when I came that. But no, okay. Oh, ho. got them jokes. Ah, crap. This is gonna get dicey. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, I whiffed it. I whiffed it good and hard. Not in the fun way. All right, come on. I got a little something for you. Come here. Ah, uh, that didn't work. Dang, you cheating now. I'm officially accusing you of cheating. No, get out of here with the exploding guys. Oh, hey. Come on. All right, that's unfortunate for me. Man, the, the charge shot is just not cutting it. <laughs> it's just not cutting it. I mean, I definitely apparently caught, like, the, the side of that guy. Uh, he did a little, a little stutter step. Wow, who gave, who's giving them grenade launchers now? Come on. Oh, yeah, that worked. Oh, there you go. Ooh, why? Why is it red? Oh, that's right. The thing behind me. Yeah. No. Stop it. Stop it. That's it. I've had about enough of you. Wow, okay. Wow, even the headshot really didn't care about that. Oh, Pompey, got you. <laughs> wow, okay. You got all the grenades, apparently. Suck on that nerd. We found the slide projector in the dump outside town. Did they recreate that too? I mean, Is I hope that not. Where they keep it? I hope not, because like, wasn't that really bad and like killed your whole town? Probably not good for them to be like remaking stuff like that. Really not a good idea on their part. But I mean, if they did, I guess we'll find it, so to speak. 
Ah, good. More fun information. You mentioned a poem last time we talked. By Thomas Zane? Yes. Beyond the shadow you settle for, there is a miracle illuminated. Hmm. I looked the poem up. Only I couldn't find any poet by that name. I did find a European filmmaker who moved here in the 60s, named Thomas Zane. What? I don't... No matter. It suits you very well, the poem. How you see things. Maybe you wrote it yourself? I didn't. No matter. You've said a few times that you feel like there's a piece of you missing. Can we talk about that? Okay. Yeah, um... It's this... I feel... an emptiness. A yearning for something that I think I lost. It's natural for you to feel that way. Your brother and your parents are dead. No! <laughs> no. Dylan is not dead. And that's not even it. You're referring to the imaginary friend from your childhood? Polaris. She's come back. After a long time, she's calling me. In a dream I saw, she... She showed me things. Jesse. It felt more real than anything. As real as what happened in Ordinary. The industrial accident in your hometown? That you believe Polaris caused? No. It wasn't an accident. There was no industrial accident, and Polaris didn't cause it. She saved me and Dylan. Jesse. No. It was a cover-up. The government knows about it. There were agents there. Agents from... I don't know exactly. They took Dylan. They... I'll find them. I won't stop looking. Polaris wants me to go to New York. There's a building there. I have to leave soon. I have to be there at a very specific time. Something, something hugely important is going to happen. Jesse, you know we can't let you go until you're well. And that begins by understanding what's real and what's imagined. Wow, okay. Well... Uh, we learned two things from that. Firstly, uh, I, the psychiatrist that Jesse was seeing kind of sucks and is almost certainly on the payroll of the Bureau here. Uh, secondly, yeah, we got a little more understanding of why Jesse came here in the first place, but they definitely covered it up and stole her brother, but it's still, it just, what I don't get is how she got away from them in the first place, like as a child. And they came in and took Dylan. I guess, I guess they're intentionally keeping that information from us, but we'll find it out eventually. Ordinary dump site, turntable, transit corridors. Okay. Ooh, more paperwork. Gotta love that paperwork. Ordinary AWE-24 details. Details are largely based on interviews conducted with Dylan Faden. See interviews redacted and redacted for relevant information. And the obtained therapy sessions of Jesse Faden, as well as circumstantial evidence found at the ordinary site. Note that accounts provided by all three sources contain conflicting data. Example, DF claims there were eight slides for the projector. JF mentioned nine slides. The Bureau found one intact slide, designation 36, and the burnt remains of six others. Unfortunately, these slides are too badly damaged to be used in the projector. Jesse Faden is believed to be the individual responsible for burning the slides. Notes. Dr. Darling has ordered the entirety of the ordinary town dump be brought to the Bureau for examination and analysis, with the hopes of finding additional slides or other altered materials. Due to the limited space in the investigation sector, this AWE will be investigated in the containment sector. Okay. I, all right. I, I guess. Yeah, sure. Just bring the whole town dump. That, that was probably easy and not a logistical nightmare at all. <laughs> that probably... That was probably the easiest thing anyone's ever done. Hello? Hey, it's just... I guess we did have a little combat, but I'm still just a little nervous that it's, like, super quiet around here. Super quiet, huh? Did I... Oh, I opened that with my booty. Alright, cool. Ordinary dump. 
Oh, yeah. They just picked up the whole dump and brought it here. How about that? Okay. Ooh, explosive box. I like the explosive the box. Whole landfill here in the middle of New York. Yeah. And nobody saw a thing. You raise hey, a... unbelievable. Yeah, you raise a valid point there, Jesse. I'm not gonna lie to you. Federal Bureau of Control notice. By order of Dr. Darling, all work in the ordinary dump is to stop effective immediately. Resources will be allocated to the redacted department. Details will be forthcoming. This area will be sealed at the end of the month. Please remove all personal effects before that time. Any photographic slides, the type used in the slide projectors, found in the area should be delivered to Dr. Darling immediately. Huh. Well, that's weird. They... Wait, so they went through the trouble of bringing the whole thing up here, right? Like, the whole shebangy. And then they're like, okay, now we're going to seal it off. So what happened? Who, who died? Who, who got eaten alive or torn in two or sent to a dark oblivion somebody i mean you don't you don't spend millions of dollars moving a moving a landfill into a building in new york city you don't okay globe supplement all right wolf globe ai 72-pe background the item was found in the penthouse suite at redacted Toronto, belonging to David Wolf, who is being investigated for illegally dealing in altered materials. See case 13-HQ-37. Bureau agents raided his penthouse and found numerous paranatural belongings, including redacted, redacted, and this item. Mr. Wolf was arrested. Supplementary materials. Article from the Toronto Daily. So why would a 36-year-old Bay Street investment trader, filthy rich, married to a model, disappear overnight? That's the question that's kept Toronto's high society up at night this past week. Police say it's being looked into. Some nut job radio show in the States claims he's disappeared to join the Illuminati. But it's this reporter's opinion that Mr. Wolf, bored of his job, sick of his family, left it all behind to retire in some remote beach paradise. Now he's sipping Mai Tais while the world thinks he's dead. Oh, rich people, you suck. <laughs> just, we're just gonna... We'll just leave it at that. I'm pretty sure they didn't want me to, like, come up here first, but here we are. All right. Dropping it like it's hot! Okay, well, that might not have been my smartest move ever. Okay, are we good? I think we're still alive. Sweet. Yeah, eat bicycle. Okay, okay, all right. Get kid out of the danger zone. Oh, eat some of that. Yeah, what's up now? And shablamo! Did I get you? No? Okay. No, well, that's unfortunate for me. Yeah. Nope. No, no, that's stop it. Nope. Okay, I missed. I missed. I'm sorry. I'll just play it. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh, there's more. That's unfortunate for me. Oh, no. Oh, whipped it. Whipped it good and hard. Whoa, okay. No, none of that. Stop it. Alright. That's clearly not helping anybody. Alright. So we need Pierce or nothing for this guy. Ow, 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 ow. No, why'd you stop running? The the toggle run, like I always second guess it and feel like I didn't press it the first time. Yeah, that was my bad. I like stopped running. It was just like, please kill me now. I'd appreciate it. Anyway, let's try that with just a just a sprinkle of uh, less failure. Oh, we got this lovely run back too. That's great. I'm glad. I really am. I'm glad we got to run all the way back there. Checkpoints. Who needs checkpoints? Okay. Well, you want to go? Oh no, it's the invisible thing. That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate for me. Can I get all of them. Sweet. 
Where's the invisible thing? It's around here somewhere. I know it is. It's leaving like weird distort distorting the universe imagery all over the place. Come on, where you at? No, oh, okay, alright. Yeah, what's up now? Yeah, just keep throwing stuff at you. Or you know, you vanish. Yep, and just throw more stuff. Yeah. Suck on that nerd. That kinda worked. Yep, and a little yaw. Alright, we all good? Is that it? I'd like to get back to the actual game now. What the heck is that? Oh, is that sniper? Sniper bad. Yeah, bam! Suck on that, nerd. There's this little explosions just just to send you on your way. Okay, anyway. <laughs> it's like, yeah, oh, you died? Yeah, we'll retry it. But first, clear this random path. Like, no, I don't want to. I don't want to clear the random path. I want to just immediately go back to what I was doing. The game's like, screw you, I don't care. Which, to be fair, uh, all right, you know, that's... Moved the whole landfill here in yeah. the middle of New York. They did, Jesse. Wow. I saw a thing. Pretty humble. Oh, come on. That sucks for me. That really sucks. Come on. Boom, man. A little... Oh, how about you over there? Yeah. Oh, no, no. Yeah, what's up now, jerk face? Ooh. Boom, explosion sauce. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the heck just happened? I think I died. I think that's what happened. <laughs> yeah, that's bad for me. I could, like... That's what this game needs. It needs a little stealth or a little uh, health regen, like natural, just health regeneration. That'd be great. Yeah. Okay. Well. Oh, there's another one over there, isn't there? Yeah. I see you hiding there with a the shield. You can't hide from me. You can't hide from the blood eye. Man, it is really hard to aim this. I just want to go on record as saying that. Okay, alright. Well, they're all right there. That's bad for me. They are everywhere. Ooh, gotcha. No, ow, stop it. No, just you gotta run. That thing can hit you while you're walking. And while you're running, apparently. Okay. Alright. Well, I guess, you know, I'm gonna do a cut here and I'll be back once I uh, stop screwing this up. Because uh, I get the feeling that that's the last round of that fight. <laughs> Come on, I think I got it. Just one more, and bam! There you go, you're dead now, bye. Who are you? Okay, bye-bye then. Thanks for playing. Oh, uh -huh. I got some jokes, huh? There you go. We should check that lab. Yeah, do you think? I'm just happy we're not dead. Man, that was, that was a bit much. Could have done without some of that. <laughs> Although, to be fair, I'm pretty sure... I'm starting to get an idea of what the, the charge is actually... What? Why was there some paperwork in there? Oh. The old... Wait. I was nine or something when I found my dad's old old gods album. I became a huge fan instantly, Jesse Faden. Wait a second. The old gods of Asgard? Uh, if you've been a long time fan of this channel, I mean long time, you may remember or may sound familiar the old gods of Asgard. That was, um... That was the Viking dudes from Alan Wake. The the old Viking dudes that you go to their house and you drink their booze and yeah, that's the old gods of Asgard. Wait, so that's who Remedy is. I couldn't I couldn't for the life of me remember. Did they make Alan Wake? 
They had to have, or else why would you bother putting that in the game? What's this? What's this? Seriously? Get out of here. Get. Get out of here. There we go. I'm gonna push this button. Yeah, that's just, that's that's awesome. I like the button. I like buttons. Oh, a big old. Oh crap. I don't care for those things. You know what? Does this do anything at all? No. I mean, it kind of did. It made it like a little tiny sphere instead of a big one. Yeah, it definitely does not stop it, though. Okay, is there anything here I need to get rid of? Because that's what it was last time. It was, uh, there's crud on the wall blocking the rail. No, we're good. We're floating. Float some more. All right. Does this door lead to the switch? No. Well, I mean, there is a switch, but apparently I don't care about that switch. Uh, wait, where am I going? I I just realized where where, where am I going? <laughs> I've been through here, haven't I? Yeah, I have been through here. So wait, hold on, hold on. Let's let's see what we're actually supposed to be doing here. Darling's lab for the slide projector. Okay. Wait. Jesse, oh, oh, there's a thing here. Jesse goes back to the central executive to reunite the brother Dylan. Changed by the hiss. Prime candidate program. Yeah. Yeah. She finds the ordinary's AWE set with a model of her hometown and the contents of the town's garbage dump brought here for study. And? <laughs> then what happens? Um. So where is, where is Darling's lab? Because we, like, we went to his lab that was in the quarry. Well, like, that's not his lab lab. You know what I mean? Or maybe it's opposite this? Is that what the deal is? Maybe we have to spin the turntable the other way? Because it, there's definitely, like, on the left side of this, there's a big question mark, you know, super, there's something over here. But... Ooh, is this a checkpoint? Well, that's good. We'll, we'll go here. Just at least grab the checkpoint. Because uh, I'm pretty sure we're supposed to be here. Right? Right? Yeah? Okay. Well, let's see what's over here then. Maybe it's on the ground. Maybe that's it. Nope. Okay. Hmm. Sterling. AWE. Yeah. I don't know what that is. Is that important? That's something I need. No, apparently it's not. Wait, so is it over here? Is that what this is? But no, this is where we came from. Can't be this. Bridge operator. Huh. So, oh, duh. <laughs> Just ignore the fact that I am dumb and, uh, yeah. It's this right here. This is what we need. All right. Well, we'll flip the top off of that. That's good. Ah, a little, a little power. Oh, whoa! What is that? Oh crap! Here we go. Hello, darling. Effective immediately. Oh. I'm setting up a new department. Dimensional research in the research sector. Uh, transferring the slide projector there. That's where my focus will be now. The ordinary site remains as is. We'll be back to... I, I don't know when. <laughs> oh, oh, what was that? Darling took the projector to the research sector. He dedicated a whole area to it, so he knew it was important. Dimensional research. That's where we go next. Oh, hi, Dylan. No. No. Oh no, I really don't like the the blood loading screen showing up there. Oh, so that was like a big one. Okay, the finished tango. Is that a joke? What the heck is that? A dark place? I, I don't know what's going on. I don't know. Why is it all screamy out here? Oh crap! No, none of that. 
None of that from any of you. Nope. Nope. Well, I'm leaving. Screw you guys. I don't, I don't got time for any of that. None of that. I am leaving. Marines, we are leaving! No, Jesse, come on, you're almost there. Okay, there we go. So we're going to dimensional research. I don't even know where that is. Let's get out of here. Let's bl let's blow this pop stand. Do I even have access to the research? Oh, I do have access to the research center. Okay. Well, no. All right. I wanted it to show me where that was on the map, but apparently it just didn't care. <laughs> all right. Anyway. That's probably going to be it for this episode, just because uh, we're hitting about a usual time here, and uh, we just finished up a big leg of quests. So you may not see me in this spot at the start of the next episode, because we might be closer to where we are, because I don't know exactly how close we need to be. So that being said, thank you everybody so much for joining me on another exciting episode in the, lo in the world of Control in the Shoes of Jesse Faden. I am Devo at Lost Time Gaming. If you enjoyed the episode today, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, get subscribed. Let me know down in the comment section below what you thought about my gameplay, my commentary, or anything else in general. That being said, thanks for watching, and as usual, I'll catch you all on the flip side.